For many lifetimes, we First Nations thrived on the land that we walked on. Then came the day of days, when we were forced to look for new ways to live, but in time, we have lost those ways, through both colonization and our own ignorance. The majority of my generation don't carry the knowledge of hunting, fishing, or even preparing that which has been caught. My generation is the next step to the future. Today, we are rebuilding our way of life. The land-based education that Food Matters Manitoba provides us will help us regain what we have lost. At the Northern Youth Gathering, we have a new opportunity for adventure and connect back to nature. We as a people of the North depend on fishing as a way of feeding ourselves. I have learned that this can be a way to achieving the end of food insecurity. It is important that this knowledge is taught to the youth so that we can carry the skills and pass them on in time. Baker's Narrows Lodge has provided us an ideal location to learn and grow. So you guys can make them short like this if you want or you can make them longer. The important thing to pay attention to when you're making a snare, you don't want to make them too short. So if that's your snare like this, you got to think of what you're going to anchor it to. So some people will anchor them to uh, just any tree that's around. The reason why I don't do that is because a lot of times the trails change. The sap from a spruce tree can be used as a traditional medicine to treat wounds and kill harmful bacteria. Hunting is a key part of our traditional ways. For lynx, there's different ways. Uh, there's basically two ways that we skin a lynx. Um, people don't really make lynx rubs. The two ways is one is if you're skinning it for um, lynx coats or the other way is for taxidermy. Taxidermy is when they stuff the animal and put them in some sort of a pose and uh, have them on display. It is an empowered feeling to know that we can survive in the forest. Through colonization, we as a whole have lost our connection to the land around us. The skills we are learning teach us to overcome the harsh elements of the natural world and is a part of the healing journey towards reconciliation with ourselves and others. Shelters are an important aspect of our way of life. Shelters in our teachings give us both protection to survive the harsh elements of nature and a sense of belonging to the land that we stand on. Spirituality is an important part of connecting ourselves to the land, when we take something from the earth, we give back to her by laying tobacco as a sign of thanks and respect. The traditional teachings that Miss Onabigan shared with us made me realize the importance of the medicine wheel and what all the sides represent. I have learned that opening myself up to a broader view made me realize that the world that we occupy is more than physical. It is a connection to the mind and our spirit. Respect is the key in both animals and humans. The experience has allowed me to look to the land and help me create a healthy lifestyle. Programs like this help me restore the link and reconcile with the lost traditions of my people. This has helped me live life in many good ways. The more we as a people learn, the more that we show that we carry resiliency and can be empowered through our lifetime. I hope you can do this too. Until then, forever till new dawn, see you around.